Hi Team Rocket! Today in class we learned about turtles and I told you that I have a book that's about turtles that I would read to you in a video. So that's what this is. This book is called One Tiny Turtle by Nicola Davies and the pictures are by Jane Chapman. And before I read the book there's a little part inside that I want to read to you and then I'll show you the cover. And it says about turtles. Sea turtles are related to tortoises and terrapins. They're all reptiles. Sea turtles are great wanderers, traveling thousands of miles each year, often far from land. This makes them difficult to study, so scientists are only just beginning to find out about their mysterious lives. There are seven species of sea turtles. This book is about the loggerhead turtle. Loggerhead turtles live in the sea all around the world. So this book is One Tiny Turtle by Nicola Davies and the pictures are by Jane Chapman. Far, far out to sea, land is only a memory, and empty sky touches the water. Just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. This is a nursery of sea turtles. Passing in a boat, you might not notice the turtle, not much bigger than a bottle top. She hides in the green shadows. She is a baby, so her shell is soft like old leather. Just a little fish bite could rip it open, but the turtle is safe in her world of weed and snaps, her beak on tiny crabs and shrimp. The turtle swims around, flapping her long front flippers like wings. She is flying underwater. She pokes her pinprick nostrils through the silver surface to take a quick breath, so fast, a blink, and you'd miss it. Then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. For three or four years, maybe more, the turtle rides out the storms and floats through the hot calms. Steadily, she outgrows her nursery. Nobody sees her leave, but when you look for her, She's vanished just the same. A year or two later, she turns up close to land. Binner, bigger than a dinner plate now, she's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is hard as armor, her head is strong as a helmet. She's grown into her name, Loggerhead. She's come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from the deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hen's eggs in her heavy jaws, but in a week the feast is over and the loggerhead disappears again. You can see her eating the crabs right there. Loggerhead wanders far and wide in search of food. In summer, to cool seaweed jungles where she finds juicy clams and shoals of shrimp. And in the winter, to turquoise lagoons warm as a bath where she can munch among corals. Loggerheads may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or track for you to follow. Only good luck will let you catch a glimpse of her. For 30 years, you might not find her. Then one summer night, she arrives on the beach where she was born. She found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle, Feeling the current and the warmth of the waves, she remembers the taste of the water here and the sound of the surf. So I wanna be clear, she's going back to not just a beach, but the very same beach where she was born, no matter how far away she swam. Loggerhead has grown, into, grown in her wandering years. She's as big as a barrel now. Floating in the sea, she weighs nothing, but on land, she's heavier than a person. So every flipper step is a struggle, and her eyes stream with salty tears, which actually help them keep free of sand. Loggerhead makes her nest where the sea won't reach. Scooping carefully with her hind flippers, she makes a steep, deep hole. Inside, she lays her eggs a hundred squidgy ping pong balls. After, she covers them with sand to hide her nest from hungry mouths. 
Then Loggerhead is gone again, back to her secret life. Left behind under the, under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles grow inside. And before the summer's over, they wriggle from their shells. Above them on the beach, a hundred eyes watch on the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings wait until night. Then they burst through the sand and skitter towards the sea. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing paws miss only one young turtle. One day she'll remember this beach and she'll come back. But now she dives under the waves and swims, swims and swims out into the arms of the ocean, far, far out to sea. Land becomes a memory waiting to wake in the head of a little turtle. The end. So that was One Tiny Turtle by Nicola Davies. The thing that I love about this book is how it's a learn about the world book. We're learning new things and everything in this book is real, but she wrote it like a story. So we learned a lot of things about turtles and it was interesting like a story is. In this book, Nicola Davies also did research about turtles. And I didn't read these parts, but on some pages, there are little words here with facts about turtles. This one says that turtles have shells that cover their backs and shells that cover their stomachs. The shells are made from bony plates that get bigger and harder as the turtle grows. So a turtle never outgrows its shell, the shell grows with it. We can look at more of these facts on class in class on Monday, and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye Team Rocket.